Success. Success. <laughs> Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Today we're doing we're doing some bluegrass. And uh, for those of you that don't know, um, I got bit by the bluegrass bug real hard. I was a metalhead and then went sh straight into bluegrass. And um, it was Doc Watson, and it was kind of old and in the way that that did it for me. And uh, that's pretty much what I listened to for a long time. Five, six years, you know, when I was out in L.A., that was kind of like my thing. Um, and then, you know, things changed. And I, I really haven't revisited it much and revisited those chops. Um, and I did a video not too long ago with Billy Strings and Marcus King doing Summertime. Killer. Killer. Uh, video exploded. Um, so I wanted to do another one. Um, and it, it just people have been clamoring for Billy Strings. And so I'm on my website. I'm on my website. And if you guys know, subscribers on my website can do reaction requests. Um, and because you guys literally support the channel, because you pay to subscribe at my website, I try to do at least one or two of these a week from this page. And so MP Wallen has here, Billy Strings, dust in a baggie at the Grand Ole Opry. He says, not your pup pops flat picking now i'm gonna open this up i'm gonna open this up in a, its own browser but stand up. with that being said i've heard this tune i uh i, I remember it being a 145 with some dominant chords i remember just being really really fast with some incredible flat picking I saw the version of him on the couch, and I was completely and totally blown away. Which is why I didn't do it for this video, because I try to do videos I haven't seen before. So, without further ado, this is Billy Strings, Dust in a Baggie, live at the Opry. <laughs> Keep going, Michael. Keep going. I ain't slept in seven days. I have an eight and three. Methamphetamine has got a damn good hold of me. My tweaker friends have got me to the point of no return. I just took the lighter to the bulb and watch it burn. This life of sin has got me in. Well, it's got me back in prison once again. I used my old phone call to contact my dad. He got 20 long. Here's for some dust in a baggie. All right, so I mean, so many bluegrass songs are one, four, five, and G with these dominant chords. So let me kind of let me kind of walk you through it here. So you got, so you got one. Now, you you know the bass is usually going root fifth, root fifth. There's a lot. It, it doesn't have to be that simple. But let's watch a rip one. To what mom and papa said I wouldn't be locked up in prison Troubled in hell I took that little pop and sucked Into my mind was fun But I got 20 years to sit and think Of what I've done this Those little licks It's like little tags at the end of each line That Those are the earworms That always got stuck in my head You know, just... It 
It's all those. I just, I just love that stuff. Life of sin, life of sin has got me in. Well, it's got the bank in prison once again. I used my only phone call to contact my daddy. You got 20 long years for some dust in a bag of jail. Now that's a, that it's important to know. So during the course, 20 long years. So G, G7 on years. Now he might not be doing it like that. Sometimes you could be doing it, sorry, like this, but you're adding that F in there for C, C7. So. And now when you get that C7, what's cool about this is that the, is that the seven is actually the minor third of G. So when you're soloing over this, you can be. You can, you can G minor right there all through that four chord. Blues have got me singing this hot song My life is a disaster, Lord, and I feel so ashamed Cause I'm where they call me by a number, not a name So, let's talk about something else real quick. Now, you're getting the hard, you know, that... You're getting that hard sound from the mandolin, you know, but he's, he's not really grinding it like that. He's doing that kind of more soft floaty wrist to do that. Not, not doing that palm muted kind of trained thing. He's keeping it very, very strummy and letting the other instruments doing that. Having that separation between the instruments is what makes a good bluegrass band. It's one of the many things. But difference in dynamics, different in timbre, but when everybody is a percussion instrument, because there's no drums, sometimes you gotta let the bass be the kick, sometimes you gotta let the mandolin be the snare. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes you're the hi-hat as the guitar player. It's just, it, that's, that, listen, try listening to it that way. You'll hear how everybody is in their own, in the mix that way, rhythmically. And it's really impressive when you see people do it around one microphone and manage their their balance, their volumes in that way. Obviously, I'm a fan. This life of sin, life of sin has got me in. Well, it's got me back in prison once again. I used my only phone call to contact my daddy. I got 20 long gears for some dust in a bag of So much to talk about in there. <clears throat> oh, dude, that these 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 guys that can flat pick like that blow me away. Cause when I'm going at that type of speed, gotta hybrid, gotta do legato, you know, pull off stuff. Just f literally flat out flat picking it is so hard to do. Let's go back and see if I can help you or help me. Um, Get some of these, get some of these ideas he's working on. <laughs> it's just so fast. It's so fast. Phone call to contact my daddy. I got 20 long gears for some dust in a bag. He's over the one chord here. Now, again, if you guys are not familiar with this channel, clearly I'm not a miracle worker and I'm not getting this note for note. Clearly. I'm just trying to get the broad strokes of what 
he may or may not be thinking going through this. So, clear as day G major, right? But with the flat seven, that, that pull off diatonically, sliding up again, cruising right past that minor third, and then going sliding up from that major seventh to the root. G major. See, going up into like a G7 here. So going from to like fifth flat seven. <laughs> Mixing major minor. See how I have to hybrid pick it? I just don't have it like I used to. Yeah. So when it goes over the D or over the five chord there, so he came up and implied that G7. Forgot how he got down there. But he's going for that open D. Sliding from that C, that flat seven. Ah. Oh. Is he? Is there an open E in there? So again, G seven, right? So five flat seven. See how strong that wrist is? Maybe he's not getting the open string, he's just double picking that. So what this is, that's your fifth in, that's your D, so your fifth in G, hammering on from your minor third to your major third, B flat to B, implying you're still in the tonality of G here. Then going back to that minor third, bending up to the major third instead of hammering on to get that kind of bluesy thing. That, that does double pick. Sharp. What was the, what what was that? Come on. <laughs> Look at that face. Over that D going for it, but that. I don't know what that run was. It, it run was. It's some sequence in G there. That. There it is. There it is. What I what I tell you. What I tell you. But look at his face. Do I need to tell you what that is? Of course, that's the minor third. Yeah. Let's go back and see how he gets into. It. Yeah. So remember, that that B flat is the flat seven of C seven, which is your four chord, which is forgive all the theory. <laughs> it's just it's just hammer that hammer that thing for that for that minor third over G. Especially if you let it fight with that major third. 
Oh, you know that's my favorite. Woo. This life is killer. So killer. Let's, let's, let's watch to the end, then we'll talk. So. So, again, there's so much to talk about. Now, I can hear it, but he, at least in that last part, he wasn't playing the G, G7, C, C7, right, to, to turn everything dominant, to lead it. He was letting the other instruments doing that, and other instruments do that. So he's kind of laying that very simple foundation and l laying that... Uh, <laughs> that was not good, but laying that simple sound and then letting the other instruments not only add in the different rhythmic parts, like the push of the kick and the snare, but also introducing the flat seven, right, to change the, the harmony of the chords. It's all the little nuances in bluegrass. That it's such a strict idiom. I've been saying that word a lot lately, but it's true. It's such a strict idiom that it's all the little things you have to get done right. Like the vocal harmonies. You know, it's, it's, um, I just love it. And this dude does it really, really, really well. I, um, I'm so stoked to do some more of his videos. I'd love to talk to him because I know that, like, he also, um, has, like, a metal background. And I think he was, like, a metalhead and then, like, went into, went into Bluegrass. And I know he's a massive Doc Watson fan like I am. In fact, that's the first thing I thought of when I saw him do that other video I did. I was like, this dude sounds like a young Doc Watson. Um, so anyway, Billy, if you're watching, dude, let's do a video. Let's, let's, let's get on the internet and, and uh, play some guitar. I'd love it. And for all you guys watching, thanks again for all your support, for liking, for commenting, subscribing to my channel on YouTube, and leaving links in the comment section on what we should do next. And especially you guys that all subscribe at my website. Um, hit the first link in the description and you can get all of my courses, lessons, everything and support this channel, all this free stuff for just 10 bucks a month. It'd mean the world to me and I'd love to be your online teacher. And uh, yeah, you know, not to mention 20 long years for dust in a baggie. Haven't we come so far? I remember, I remember everyone and their brother getting in trouble for nothing and now it's just like we're going to the right aid we're going to the you know we're, we're just going to the store i'll be back it's wild isn't it it's so wild have a good day everybody